Hello there, I'm Shakelob7 and welcome to Emoji React to Cute Tumblr Codes 2. Seeing as you guys like my last one so much, I thought I'd do another one. And there's no harm in me totally dissing another huge part of the internet again, so why not? Pay attention to whom your energy increases and decreases around. Because that's the universe giving you a hint of who you should embrace and who you should stay away from. Oh really? Oh! Oh yeah? So what if I just consume 10 Red Bulls and I have to go meet that friend who I really, really hate but have to be friends with because I have to work with them? Huh? I'm gonna be high on energy then, but I'm really not gonna like them, am I? Oh! Hmm. Didn't really think that one through, did you? Well done. If you want to be proud of yourself, then do things in which you can take pride. Oh, that's nice. What an inspirational quote. That's lovely. Oh no wait, hang on. No it's not, it's dumb. What if I take pride in cutting people's heads off? Or I take pride in learning Justin Bieber's new dance routines? If I was your boyfriend... Na, 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 na. You know what? Judging by this, I'm really not that huge of a Justin Bieber fan apparently, so apparently I don't take pride in that, so you're lucky. I am teaching myself how to walk a broken feet. Because I learned that other people will never be crutches. But the pain of growth will always outweigh the strings of betrayal. I don't even know where Stalin's quote. I think it's a poem, but it, it's dumb. It's dumb. Just just use crutches. It's really, really dumb. <laughs> because you're probably gonna end up with fucking deformed feet, and then no one's gonna like you anyway, because they're gonna be like, ooh, why are you buying two different size shoes? Because when I was young, I was like really into Tumblr and shit, and I thought it'd be funny. And I thought I'd like grow as a person if I walked around on broken feet. You know what their reaction's gonna be? No. Oh my god, that's so inspirational. It's gonna be, oh my god, we're a fucking dumbass, you're weird, I'm leaving. Wake up every morning. Feeling like P. Diddy, grab my shoes, I'm out the door, I'm gonna hit the city before I- I need to stop singing, this is really bad. Wake up every morning with a smile on your face. Go through the day with your head up and don't let words take you down. Oh yeah, no, inspirational, I get it, yeah. Don't let words take you down. Words can never ever take you down as long as you got a smile on your face. How about this? Sir, I'm sorry, but your wife just died. That's kind of taking me down a bit. No, wouldn't it take you down? Not if you got a head held high. What about this? Sir, you're sentenced to 25 years in jail with no hope of parole. Or, sir, I'm sorry to tell you, but you have terminal cancer. But no, I got a smile on my face. No one's coming for me, bitch. If you read our story backwards, it's about how I unbroke your heart and then we were happy until one day you forgot about me forever. Okay, that's nice, but what point is this quote trying to prove? They're both kind of horrible, to be honest. If a person I was in love with just suddenly forgot about me forever, I would not be happy. And I would not just leave it at that. I'd be here every day. Remember me? Remember me? Remember me? Remember me? Remember me? Remember me? <laughs> don't be quick to judge. You may not know the hardships that people don't speak of. Okay. Don't judge a book by its cover is basically what you meant to say, but also, that's also bullshit because, you know, I could easily just do this. You know who had it right? Hitler. He so had it right. Totally right. Yeah. Woo! Discriminating people by their religion and race. Yeah? What's that about? Yeah. Cool. Damn. Woo! That was the most react to cute Tumblr quotes. You asked for it. I did it. Actually, you didn't ask for it. I just did it. Thanks for watching and remember to subscribe.